Good day, folks. Switcher here. How's everybody doing today? Uh, today I'd like to do an inbox review of uh, the Academy M3 Grant Yale Hallmine uh, Battle of 1942. Without further ado, let's see uh, what's in the box. <clears throat> now that we got the glare off the Let's see if we can get some better lighting on the subject. There we go. Uh, we have our instructions. Uh, nice uh, clear details. Uh, pretty straightforward assembly. Uh, the We will have an interior in this tank. We have the engine there. Or a transmission, one of the two. I'm not quite sure. Looks like a transmission to me. The engine's probably over here someplace. Uh, complete with deck plates. Yeah, it is a transmission if you look at uh, the bottom picture here. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. There we go. Right beside the driver. <clears throat> Straightforward. The uh, completed interior. Okay. Uh, the turret also uh, will be shown. This is the back wall of uh, the back or the side wall uh, with uh, the ammunition, the shells. Pioneer tools and so on and so forth. Beautiful. A lot of rivet on this. This should come out uh, nicely with a wash. Here's the, uh, the assembled turret. With his ammunitions on the back wall. And you can see the floor there. The completed... Uh, <clears throat> comes with uh, five British figures, our two color schemes. Uh, I already looked at this box, so I know what's inside. Uh, this one here has the Royal, Norm uh, the Royal Army North Africa 1943, and that's uh, your sandy yellow color. Uh, that's the only decals I have. Uh, this one here was uh, the Royal Army 8th Army in El Alamein, 1942. This one here has camel. Now, I've watched a lot of North African... Uh, videos of the, the campaign and all that over the weekend and most of their tanks uh were of this color so um even about for l l9 um it seemed to me like in the videos and so on and so forth from the historical data that uh, they weren't camouflaged so anybody have anything uh on that please let me know uh the back we have um our sprue layout Nice detail with all the numbers and so on and so forth. Uh, the front here, uh, there's no uh, description, uh, no historical data on this tank, uh, unlike some other kits. Uh, we do have our paint call out for uh, hobby color, Mr. Color, Life Color, Humbrol, uh, Testers, Model Masters, okay, so on and so forth. Uh, I've got the tape, I already got the colors for this, so uh, let's see uh, what's in, what lies in the box. <clears throat> the, uh, the first two we come across uh, dual screws. I'll put the box over here. It's too hard to have on my lap. Um, our road wheels. Nice, uh, crisp details. I don't see any flash. Uh, beautiful detail there on uh, the transmission. Okay, I know you, yeah, we're picking that up. Uh, our drive sprockets and so on and so forth. Uh, suspension parts. I don't see any flash. Um, yeah, two sprues of uh, road wheels and 
so on and so forth. Our next one, uh, once again, two sprues in it. We have the interior deck. Uh, unfortunately, there are some discoloration there uh, through caused by stress or shrinkage or whatever. Uh, you guys would know more uh, of that than me, and I don't know if it's supposed to be warped, but it it's definitely warped. It looks like it's supposed to be warped by uh, what I see here. Uh, beautiful details on the back wall. Okay, and rivets and so on and so forth. Uh, machine guns aren't too bad. Deck plating, beautiful uh, diamond pattern on that. That's uh, painted flat white, uh, the interior, and I'll be uh, doing in a metallic and uh, black uh, dry brush on that to uh, raise the, the diamonds. Um, beautiful, beautiful crisp um, outlines there of the transfer case and so on and so forth, or transmission, whatever they want to call it. <coughs> Our next sprue uh, has the parts, uh, front and rear fenders, some stowage boxes, I believe. Uh, the detail on this, this is a side hatch. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. No flash so far. <clears throat> Even the... Uh, the front bolting parts, beautiful detail on that. More on the, this is hard to do. <laughs> we can see the rivets there on this piece. Let me get it to focus. The hull itself. Uh, very small in comparison to my chief and I just filled building. Uh, once again, nice uh, detail on that. It will take a wash nicely. Look at that. Look at the bottom of that. And that's going to take a wash. Absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> In comparison with my Chieftain. Ah. <laughs> uh. Next one is the turret, and uh, what I immediately noticed on that one, uh, this is a cast turret. Okay, I got a nice texture. Same thing is going with the uh, uh, the gun mat with, complete with the casting serial numbers. Side skirts are not as much detail. It looks uh, like plate steel. They are. Okay, it's not casted. The bottom of the turret, again, once again, cast piece. Some side panels. Uh, nice detail. We'll have to see how the assembly goes, but so far uh, I'm impressed with the quality of the cat as uh, the parts. And uh, to date, no flash on any of these sprues. Another uh, double sprue here. Turret for the main gun. Our ammunition, our guns. There's a possibility of three front guns here, and I don't know which one I want to use yet. Uh, once again, I don't know if they're going to pick this up on the camera or not. Uh, that's uh, the gun mantle, complete with uh, serial numbers for the castings. Some Pioneer tools. Still no flash. Some very small parts. 
They have big fingers. <laughs> Second sprue of that um, forward running wheel or sprocket. I think that's the forward running wheel. Not a row wheel, but the forward idler. Uh, parts of uh, the turret. This is the deck of the turret, come to find out. It's got some uh, inscriptions on there 22, 23, 36, and 37. I imagine those are degrees of some sort. More parts of uh, the turret, its ring, nice detailing and bolt pattern. More suspension pieces, nice and crisp. Detail is outstanding. Hopefully I'll be able to do this justice. The, uh, the upper hull and uh, side pieces. Once again, beautiful, beautiful riveting. That's going to wash out absolutely gorgeous. We do have some shrinkage here. I don't feel it with my fingers, so maybe when it's painted we won't see that. I hope so. I hope not. Uh, once we put a coat of primer, and that's when this stuff normally shows up. If you, if you didn't uh, fill in the, the gaps prior to. Injection pin marks nice and clean uh, all on the back though uh, Still no splash on any of these screws Nice detail here for the hinges <clears throat> uh, Last but not least we have our figures Nice crisp detail And the rubber tracks which I'm not happy with so it's uh, I don't like rubber trucks. Uh, there's a lot of injection pin marks in here and gaps and so on and so forth. Uh, anyone know uh, where I can acquire a set of these? Uh, we have a uh, busted horn here. Uh, please let me know. Uh, we're running out of time. Uh, that's all we have. Switcher, signing off.